Well, uh, hello everyone. We are um, in this meeting, the la la last meeting from the sixth uh, Miniplin International Cantabria. Uh, it's the first time that we are um, meeting with the artists and we are very moved because we saw artists from around the world and it's very nice to see their faces. We know that their works very well, uh, but know their faces. So we're very, um, very moved and very happy for you to be here. Um, we, well, we are Andrea Juan, he is Gabriel Penedo Diego. Um, and be patient because there are more people joining us. Uh, we have two artists more. I don't know where. Well, um, and we start with uh, we start with Eduardo. Yes. yes. But firstly, uh, um, to the Spanish-speaking artists, uh, vamos a hacer uh, la reunión en inglés. We're going to to make the meeting in English. Uh, in, in honor a, a, a todos los artistas del mundo que no hablan nuestro idioma y consideramos que era este, digamos, un detalle poder hacerlo en inglés para eh, eh, que lo pudieran entender mejor. Eh, así que pedimos disculpas a los artistas de, de habla hispana que, que nos pasamos al, al inglés, pero digamos, queremos... Este, de alguna manera agasajar a nuestros invitados que hablan en, en inglés. ¿Mm? Así que, bueno, many thanks uh, to all. Uh, I, I um, told to the artists, the Spanish speaking artists, that the meeting will be in, in, in English uh, in order to uh, use a language uh, that the people uh, understand much better. Um, well, let's go. Let's go. Uh, this is a pleasure to introduce uh, Eduardo García Escudero. Eduardo uh, is uh, the director of the cultural affairs of the Port Authority of Santander. Um, and it's a pleasure, Eduardo, to be here. So, it's your turn, Eduardo. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Andrea, Gabriel. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, as you may notice, I have a big Spanish accent uh, talking in English, so if you don't understand something, you can ask me. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for your participation. Uh, we are delighted with uh, it. Uh, year of uh, mini print, but uh, I have a video of, uh, that I want to show you uh, from uh, our president, uh, Cesar Díaz, is the president of the Port Authority of Santander which uh, helps uh, this contest uh, in collaboration with uh, SM Pro Art. Uh, the video is in Spanish, but uh, it's just uh, a word of greetings from the president. Uh, he wants to thank you, all the participants, uh, and also to congratulate uh, the winners. So I'm going to share the screen. I don't know if you see now. Presidente de la Autoridad Cultural. Uh, no se está no. viendo. Eh, Eduardo, no. ¿Sí? Eh, no estamos viendo el vídeo, sí el sonido, pero no. Okay. no. Uh, uh, uh. ¿Ahora? Ahora está no, empezando. No. Ahora sí. Ahora sí, ok. Ahí está el Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Soy César Díaz, presidente de la Autoridad Cultural de Santander. Lo primero de todo, lamentar que no pueda acompañaros en esta ceremonia online de la sexta edición del certamen internacional Miniprix en Cantabria, pero eh, no quiero dejar pasar por alto el agradecimiento a todos los participantes, eh, la enhorabuena, como no, a los que habéis resultado eh, ganadores. Para nosotros es una satisfacción ver el interés que despierta este certamen año tras año, el poder participar intensamente en la vida cultural de la ciudad, además en un lugar tan emblemático como es el Centro de Arte del Faro de Cabo Mayor y por eso eh, bueno, pues podéis seguir contando con la autoridad portuaria, así que nos vemos el año que viene. Un saludo, un abrazo para todos. Okay. 
And uh, after this, if you want to, I can do a, well, I have a little presentation uh, about uh, the cultural activities in the port of uh, Santander, as uh, you know, the lighthouse of uh, Cao Mayor, uh, where you have the, the exhibition of mini print, uh, belongs to the port authority of uh, Santander. Uh, we have a, a tradition of 40 years uh, uh, doing exhibition, art exhibitions. Uh, in the 1980s, uh, the Port Authority of Santander decided to uh, contribute to society in Santander, especially. Sorry, excuse me, Edu, Eduardo. Sorry. Uh, you are uh, uh, showing a, a video, a presentation? What? Have you started? The presentation, because. It's not, uh, it's not shown. No, no se ve la presentación si has okay. Tendrás que igual eh, dejar, de dejar de compartir el video y sí. volver a compartir la presentación. Ok, vamos a ver. I'm going to try. Chate, función. A ver ahora. Perfecto. Okay. All right. Uh, well, very briefly, I, I want to um, just uh, tell you something about uh, our cultural activity. Uh, in the 1980s, the Port Authority of Santander decided to uh, make a contribution to the society uh, of Santander and Cantabria. Uh, with uh, cultural activities, but especially uh, in the field of arts. Um, we manage uh, some spaces, uh, five spaces, uh, cultural spaces, which are uh, managed directly from uh, the Port Authority of Santander. This is not uh, very common in a Port Authority in Spain because its main activity is uh, not cultural or artistic. Uh, is more uh, commercial thing and uh, the main thing is just to uh, move uh, goods and to move uh, people. Uh, but uh, in the 1980s, the port the, of Santander decides to uh, also, to, in, in order to uh, have a, a better image and, and also to, to contribute to, uh, to the society of Santander and Cantabria, to uh, start organizing uh, exhibition, cultural events, and especially in the field of uh, arts. As you may see in this uh, picture, the Palacete of the Marcadero, which is in the Bay of Santander, is one of the most, most uh, iconic uh, buildings that we have in Santander. Uh, hosts uh, many exhibitions its years. Uh, from 1985 uh, to now, it has uh, hold, uh, it has held uh, 400 exhibitions and cultural events. It has uh, 50,000 visitors per year, and uh, it hosts uh, usually contemporary art exhibitions, historic, science, or uh, social uh, exhibitions. As well as the Palacete of the Mercadero, we have the Sutolia Warehouse. It's a, uh, ancient uh, warehouse which uh, was used uh, for uh, for for oil warehouse uh, and in, in the 90, uh, 90 in, the, in 99 it was um, rehabilitated as an or restored as an art exhibition hall it has a, a great um, size so it uh, it can host uh, very big exhibitions in these uh, past years, it has uh, held exhibitions from Fundación Arco, Fundación Coca-Cola, La Caixa, or some interesting and important Spanish artists like uh, Juan Usle, Chomi Badiola, Jesus Vázquez, or also international artists like Alberta Marcus Oelen or James Tarr. Uh, it has had uh, three stages of activity. Uh, and the past year, in 2022, it was... Uh, rehabilitated and uh, started again to host uh, exhibitions. 
also in the in the bay uh, throughout the bay of uh, Santander we have the uh, La Cerda Lighthouse which uh, now it is used especially for teaching purpose for training um, and also to uh, to host technical meetings and institutional uh, representation activities and the maritime stations which uh, not only uh, host the ferry or the, the passengers uh, which uh, travel from Santander to England or, for, or to France but uh, also host some concert uh, performing arts like theater or, or dance and we have uh, host uh, from uh, 2004 to now uh, several concert uh, theater uh, or dance plays the archive or documentation center is in the uh, is one of the the most interesting buildings uh, in this uh, port uh, city uh, ambit uh, it hosts all the documentation of the historic documentation of the port of Santander. It has a map library, a general administrative file, a photo library, and a newspaper and, and book uh, library. And finally, we uh, arrived to Cabo Mayor Lighthouse Art Center. Uh, you uh, will uh, know it well uh, because it hosts the exhibition of a mini print. Uh, this is a very special place for, for us in Santander. It's the oldest lighthouse in Cantabria, uh, as you uh, see in, this, uh, in the text. It was turned on for the first time in uh, 1839. It's the oldest lighthouse in Cantabria, but also one of the oldest lighthouses in Spain. And uh, it was the first Spanish lighthouse to be converted into an art center, maintaining its function as a signal to aid navigation. So this is a very special place because uh, they, 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 are, uh, they aren't any other lighthouses in Spain, and I think uh, not in Europe uh, too, which uh, held also an art center, no? which have uh, a program with exhibitions, with, uh, with a cultural activity. And we uh, devoted this uh, this part of the of the building, this art center, to uh, two painters, Eduardo Sanz and Isabel Villar. We have a permanent collection, uh, about two thousand pieces, uh, artworks, uh, paintings, especially, and objects related to lighthouses. Uh, Eduardo Sanz visited all the lighthouses of Spain and painted uh, them all. Uh, and after that. Uh, he, he, he had uh, this big uh, collection that we uh, have in the, in the lighthouse of Cao Mayor. I just wanted to, to show some pictures of the, of the building in the website of the, of the Port of Santander. You have a, a virtual visit, so you can even visit the, the exhibition of mini print from the past year, uh, 2022. This is uh, the Hall uh, devoted to Eduardo Sanz. All these paintings that you can see are from Eduardo Sanz. In another place, we have uh, these other paintings from artists uh, which were uh, friends of Eduardo Sanz, professional artists. Also, uh, his son, Sergio Sanz, and his wife, uh, Isabel Villar, because they are all this, uh, this family, they are all uh, artists too. We have a, a, a place uh, for temporary exhibitions. Uh, as you can see, the view is, is impressive. Uh, I think there are many places in Santander where you can find this view of the bay, of the sea. And finally, uh, in the first uh, floor, we have a, an exhibition hall also, which now uh, holds the exhibition of and uh, well, I think uh, Andrea and Gabriel uh, can tell us uh, a bit more about uh, the mini print, about the history of the contest and how this uh, interesting contest has finished or has arrived finally to our Mayor Lighthouse. Thank you. Thank many, you very much to you. Many thanks, Eduardo. Uh, many, many thanks. It was very nice to see all, all the activities from the from the port. 
Uh, we continue showing uh, a brief presentation. Mm. Sorry. Well, we um, yes. I'm going to okay. okay. About the the history of the mini print Cantabria, uh, everything starts in in 2018. Uh, in in 2018, we organized the uh, 10th uh, international printmaking conference. Impact 10 Encuentro here in Santander. Uh, in, in which uh, um, we receive the participation of uh, around 500 artists from all over the world. The international uh, in, uh, conference Impact 10 received uh, a, a lot of artists from all over the world. And uh, we had uh, a lot of activities, conference, exhibitions, demonstrations, and uh, in an open portfolio event. Uh, in, it was an event with uh, um, a bilingual event when one with uh, three uh, key speakers, a conference, 144 uh, lectures from artists from all over the world. Uh, we visit the Neo Cape of uh, Altamira in the Altamira Museum uh, with all of them. And uh, we had 232 exhibition projects uh, held in, in 20 venues, different venues. Uh, all the city of Santander was uh, embodied for uh, for the Impact 10 Encuentro exhibition, and uh, it was a, really a, a party, really a party of, of printmaking and, and graphic, uh, because we received a photograph, uh, videos, uh, and other um, techniques, uh, not only the, 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 the classic or, or normal techniques, uh, artist books, uh, etc. And uh, in this uh, event was the first time that the Mini Print Cantabria, uh, the, the first edition of the Mini Print International Mini Print Cantabria. At that time, the idea was that the uh, Mini Print Cantabria uh, was biennial, but the the uh, uh, successful uh, the, of the um, first edition. Uh, um, made that the uh, Port Authority and us decided to make it uh, uh, in an annual uh, in version. Um, as you can see, uh, we had a lot of exhibition uh, in in every uh, places of the city, uh, civic center, cultural centers, uh, workshops and demonstrations. Hmm? And a big and huge uh, event of open portfolio, uh, urban uh, activities like this uh, uh, in the beach of uh, El Sardinero, and the first edition of the Mini Print Cantabria. It was uh, uh, very, very, very special because uh, we received all the, the artists that uh, visited us in, in this uh, edition. Well, a, a, a brief uh, um, uh, sync to the, the um, all the awarded artists and, and works through the history of the mini print. Hmm? <coughs> 2019, 2020, and it was the, the pandemic uh, uh, edition and it was very special. Uh, because we um, uh, could uh, uh, open the exhibition to the public in a very, very, very difficult time. And uh, it was the, the, uh, one of the, the, the 
events uh, around the world that, that was uh, uh, open to the public. Uh, remember that the most of the uh, exhibition was uh, uh, cancelled at that time. Um, well, we have uh, the collection of Mini Plin Cantabria that is a collection made from the pieces, the awarded pieces, and also the pieces that generously the artists donated to the uh, Port Authority Santander. Uh, so we uh, present some part of the, of the collection of the Mini Plin Cantabria in different venues and invited from different uh, from different institutions. For instance, in this the first edition we made was in the Cervantes Institute in Bordeaux, in France. Um, also, we present uh, in the Marie Curie Sulowska, the University Art Gallery in Dublin. Thanks for the invitation of the university. Uh, it was a wonderful exhibition with uh, students. Uh, it was really very, very nice. Uh, also, in the Castle Lighthouse uh, in here in Spain, with a wonderful uh, venue uh, because you see the walls covered in in stones. Um, and the last uh, exhibition we made this year was in Sotoliva Nave the place with, um, that Eduardo showed us that belongs also to the Port Authority. Um, and it was uh, the, the last uh, exhibition of uh, the collection for this year. We hope next year and the following try to expand the, um, and generate new exhibitions around the world. Uh, now, uh, the, sex, the sixth uh, edition for this year, uh, the jury was Marta Fermin, Marta Aguilar Moreno, Laura, Laura Olea Lopez, that is uh, here with us, and Javier Martin Jimenez. Uh, well, the exhibition uh, is on on show until the end of the of the year. So, if you are around, uh, visit it. It's a wonderful exhibition. We are very happy and proud. We see some visitors uh, in the show, like Shuri, um, well, uh, Julia, uh, some artists there who participate in the show and showing to visit the exhibition. Uh, there is a few uh, photos. You can see more photos on the website because there are a lot of uh, information and, and photos. And here we have the, the winners of this year. The first prize, uh, Christoph Szymanowicz. Uh, sorry if I don't pronounce well, for sure I don't, from Poland. Uh, second uh, prize, Alicia Tos Pawlowska. Third prize, Bernadette Madden. Uh, uh, Mark Cantabrico Award, Alicia Bidaure. Uh, honorific, uh, honorary award for outstanding work, Alina Javierich uh, Kaiwodrich. Uh, honorary award for outstanding work two, uh, Madoka Kiyu. Um, honorary award for best series, Laura Garcia Marcia. Uh, first mention, Jericho Monk. Uh, second mention, Julia Leonelli. Third mention, Marion Bassenar. Four mention, Sai Ochio. And uh, the special mention, Cristina Normilate. And thank you very much uh, for showing us today and continue with the awarder artist. Yes. Um, sorry. I, I um, see, uh, so uh, here to Laura. <laughs> Laura is here. Laura. Uh, is, is going to. Yes, but uh, the jury uh, had a, a very, very, very hard work to decide about the winners. And uh, we have Hello. here, I, yeah. 
Uh, dear Laura. Please, Laura. Please. Hi. Hello. Tell, 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 tell something to the artist because your work for, was very, very, very hard because the, yes. the quality of and the and the quantity of the pieces was huge yeah. and please. So hello everybody, I'm Laura. Um, thank you for um, just inviting me to be the jury. And uh, I'm very amazed also looking at the presentation of uh, um, the board, how the relationship has been very long for you as an institution. So taking part as a jury, it was uh, um, very nice. Also the rest of the jury with uh, Javier and the two Martas, I learned a lot. Um, in my part as a as a curator, I especially work with uh, visual arts in very different range of mediums. So for me, approach to graphic and very detailed and very hard work in, in from international artists was um, was amazing. Um, the amount of artworks that uh, it, it was very special for us as a jury. Everyone has their own. Um, decision, their own criteria, their own perspective, but we value each other's opinion very much because um, especially Marta, um, the two Martas, they are very experienced on the traditional techniques, so uh, they share a lot with us, uh, with Javier and, and, and me, that we were more focused maybe uh, in some of the selected, we can see more pictorial, maybe, if you want to say, um, but the, the detail and and the winner, I think it was for us um, a common decision for everyone. So yeah, it was difficult, but lovely too. So thank you for uh, to all the artists for participating and to send uh, this amazing artwork. Many thanks. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, now we continue uh, with Christophe. Christophe is uh, not possible, to, he's not possible to be here. Uh, so we sent uh, a presentation that where is this? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I'm going to look for it. Um, okay. Well, um, we are I, trying I, to. I look for the presentation. Uh, we are trying to, to, because we have all the presentations all together in the computer. Um, uh, Christophe um, uh, sent us uh, a presentation because he couldn't be connected today. So we are going to show uh, his, pre his presentation. Uh, sorry for the delay, but there are technical issues that we have to to solve. We can put it in in full screen. Okay. Can you see? Okay, perfect. Well, well uh, a little bit about me. I studied painting under the supervision of Prof. Marianne Stolmatzik at the Faculty of Aesthetic Education of Marie Curie Sulowska University in Lublin, where he graduated uh, with honors in 1989. In 1917, uh, I received the little of professor of the Academic of Fine Arts in Warsaw. Currently, I am professor director of the Institute of Fine Arts of the Faculty of Arts at the UMCS and head of the Department of Linocut Graphic Technology. Uh, his chills. <laughs> yes. his studio. About my artistic no, work. Joaquin, no, sorry. Uh, uh, could you turn off your, your microphone? Joaquin Jimenez. 
Joaquín Jiménez, can you can you list? Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, uh, about uh, his artistic work, uh, I, I read it in first person. I uh, build my own graphic work, individual in technical details, and above all, in aesthetics, reaching into my own memory, private mythology, and the system of signs and symbols developed through history, thanks to which I go on an intimate, reflective journey. My linocuts are far from forms of a superficial play. They reflect on time and traditions, refer to the sphere, to set to the sacred, and uh, are carriers of uh, autobiogra uh, sorry, autobiographical memory. The most important graphic series, everyday conversation with myself, souvenirs, engrams, a small graphic from the Rolls series. We can see some some uh, uh, pictures with the uh, Christoph works. Souvenirs, my prince became my diary, diary for the internal traces left in my memory. I tried to project the traces in my memory onto the matrix using the traces of my groups. Such approach is explained by Dawid Daisma, who claims that auto autobiographical memory is at the same time our memory. The word memoria has a double meaning. It means both memory and diary. And it is a diary and exemplifies that uh, the search for a means of storing information outside memory. Amazing work. Mm -hmm. I consider receiving the first prize and the gold medal at the International Print Biennial in Orense in 2005 for the award Souvenir 5 as one of my most important artistic achievements. I believe that this work, referring to the window metaphor, it the closest the, uh, to defining human nature. In grams, as I uh, read articles discussing new theories of memory, I became particularly interested in the concept of engram, which was introduced in the early 20th century by Richard Simon. It can be defined as a permanent change in the nervous system caused by uh, certain sensations and experiences coming from the external and internal environment. In example, memory traces. I was also interested in the process of dual coding, where the process information which relates to a specific objects and events is visual, and also in overwriting, which involves storing new information on information that already exists. I discovered this concept will, while developing the prints I use in the new Engrams series. The first work from Ingrami series was not created on paper as a graphic, but on the wall I use various templates. <coughs> the graphic uh, Ingram 2 and Ingram 3 received the first prize at the International Print Triennial in Print in Varsov in 2011. It, it, uh, this was a, a prince of one meter to one meter and thirty. The graphic engrams uh, KWES uh, 17 dimensions two uh, meters for two meters and eighty centimeters received the award at the Polish Graphic Triennials. BWA in Katowice in 2018. The last work from 2022 titled Signals 
presented at Linekut today in Germany, dimension one meter to four, uh, two, two um, meters and 80 centimeters. Finally, my very favorite small graphic form. Roller uh, cycle working on a small uh, plane as has always attracted me. Delicate cats focusing on the matrix, trying to capture and record emotion in this small plane. The Rollers series is a story about a man using pictograms placed on a roll of paper, which is a symbol of life. In the word Rolka LC, I tried to keep the characteristic shape of the, uh, of the lantern and incorporate a roll of paper with pictograms that connected the lantern with a person. Well, it was the, the, the uh, awarded uh, uh, artwork. Well, uh, it's, it's really a shame that uh, uh, Christoph is not here to speak to you about, about his work. But we have here the second okay. prize, Alicia Sinoch-Pavlovka. I don't know where are you. Please tell something. <laughs> because we, we yeah. cannot find you I, I, I in, in the lot of... Hello, Alicia. Hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Perfect. Perfectly. Uh, uh, I'm so honored and I'm so happy uh, being a part of the exhibition and having the second prize. It's a great honor for, for me and thank you uh, all uh, uh, the organizers and uh, members of jury. Uh, they noticed my artworks and um, uh, I have a long uh, history with your uh, comp uh, exhibition and, and competition because I started from 2017. I think it was my first participation and uh, I found it on website and uh, uh, every year I <clears throat> tried to participate and uh, I was uh, accepted every, every year. So my story is over six years together with, with you. And my first um, dreams were with uh, three, it was a series of, of uh, um, lighthouses in three cities of Europe. And one of them was Cabo Faro Major Center in Santander. I tried to be uh, as, as a topic, uh, the same uh, image uh, as the topic of the exhibition. And, uh, and mostly I, uh, I create abstraction, a kind of uh, composition of light and golden powder, uh, put it on the wet paint, it is my secret because my artwork uh, is made of black background and, and painted uh, composition with golden powder. Um, uh, and um, I was uh, so surprised because previously once I had the Honor mention, so it is my second uh, award uh, uh, the, the, during the six years. Um, uh, according to um, uh, my um, uh, grateful to the organizer, there is also our um, artistic friendship because we had the opportunity to meet together in my town, Lublin, where um, and Andrea and Gabri brought the collection of Cantabria and, 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 and competition. And in our faculty gallery in Lublin, uh, we had beautiful exhibition uh, and the exhibition was the opening of the University Art Gallery. So it was great event uh, full of uh, uh, journalists and television and uh, there was no space because it was so crowded inside and on the walls were uh, almost 500 of collection uh, pieces. So. Um, everyone at my university remembers and we have beautiful memory and uh, I meet personally Andrea and Gabriel and they are so beautiful persons 
and uh, I, I hope we will meet in the future in our projects because it is so uh, wonderful. And according, I didn't mention that I'm an academic teacher and we with Krzysztof, who is a winner, uh, are colleagues in, in the Faculty of Arts of uh, Maria Kiris Kłodowska University in Lublin, Poland. And Lublin is a beautiful small town full of green uh, parks and uh, quiet um, uh, streets. And we have five public universities and a few private universities. And our city has a renaissance old town. Uh, and um, uh, we have so many young students that during summer uh, months, we, uh, Lublin is a uh, 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 a shorter of 50,000 people. So we have so many students. And my faculty, I am uh, dean in this um, uh, year, a four year currency, and um, we have 505 students uh, in music, art, and uh, fine arts courses. Uh, we have one course in English. Uh, from Asia, from Ukraine, from other countries taught in English. Um, and uh, um, uh, during my uh, position as a graphic uh, uh, printmaker here, I teach uh, entire printmaking uh, in, my, uh, in my faculty, I try to recommend students to start their career and their uh, exhibit the artworks earlier, as early as possible. So uh, I recommend them competitions, exhibitions, and um, uh, we, uh, 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 in 2019, I, had, uh, I won the project for students, didactic project. We got the Ministry Financial for uh, uh, participating in exhibition, paying the uh, entry fee, and uh, we uh, went to uh, uh, the city of opening, uh, and it was the last year before pandemic, and it was uh, that I, I, I came to Santander with six students, uh, and they uh, now they finished the study already, and they still remember this beautiful journey uh, to, uh, to exhibition, to see beautiful seaside and, and the city, and, and it was so amazing. So when we landed in Santander, we were like in the fairy tale uh, uh, world because the, the, the rocks, the, the, the lighthouse, the, the sea, and we had a hotel on the seaside, on the uh, beach. It was so amazing. So um, uh, I have the, the most beautiful memories uh, connected with your, your uh, competition, uh, your exhibition, your city, personal, your, you. And I can express that uh, uh, there is uh, how much could do just only two people like you. <laughs> <laughs> because think of you, you know, you uh, uh, touched so many people with this uh, only one exhibition, only one project with every year mini print. So you are famous in Lublin. You are famous every year. My students uh, apply to your ex exhibition. Few of them, six, five, and they achieve professional uh, participation. So uh, I, I, I'm very touched with your job, with your work, and please do it forever. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for your words. Um, thank you for your to be so close, really. And congratulations for your award. Uh, well, well deserved, really. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Well, I want to say that I have other duties and I have 15 uh, minutes more. Don't worry. Don't uh, worry. Don't worry. Excuse me, but I am, have met, we have uh, uh, just meeting with rectors today. So I 15 minutes and I will quietly uh, say goodbye. Okay. okay. Don't worry. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alicia. Well, Thank you very much. Let's continue. Yes. With a source uh, award, with a prize. Award.
That is Bernadette's mother. Bernadette, are you there? I am here. Yes. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. perfect. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay. So my name is Bernadette Madden and I am Irish. I was born in Dublin, the capital city, and I still live here, almost in the centre of town. I studied painting in the National College of Art and Design. I concentrated on painting, very academic, a little bit of printmaking, kind of old fashioned now, but a very good grounding for the, the kind of work I was going to do. I also then learned how to make batik, uh, which is a way of fabric patterning using dye and a resist. And I was never comfortable with just painting with oils. But when I discovered batik, I realized a, res a resist was just something I needed to do when I was making work. So I started out with that and then that led to screen printing, which is kind of the same thought process. In other words, it's a, a it's a resist medium. You're putting on, you're not putting on the color, you're resisting the color all the time. There's a, it's a kind of a push against. Um, I also decided very early on that I wanted to make my living making work. And uh, I started out selling batik wall hangings, which were very fashionable at the time, because this is in the, the 80s. And I rented a studio in town and started selling and that paid the rent. So that was all very good. I started to make a living well, a good living and to get well known. And um, really while I was still in college as well, because we had riots in the college when I was there and were locked out for a year. So I had to, you know, do something to keep the show on the road. Um, I, I rented a studio, as I say, I went to shops, galleries, uh, show them what I was doing. And I was probably lucky in the people I approached because they liked what I did. And I started to uh, easily make money, let's say, um, which is quite difficult now as an artist, as you know. Um, I, I the screen prints were kind of an interesting one because the thought process is is the same, but it's sort of different at the same time. You you know, and I had to sometimes divide my mind between batik, which was my money maker in a sense, and screen printing, which is a little bit more, um, what I wanted to do and an expression of what I wanted to do. Um, I made limited edition screen prints initially, really well done, you know, you know, very hard to do, get them the same all the time. But, but I, then I discovered the varied edition and realized that I, it, that suited me an awful lot better. Um, and that is what I do now. And mo mono prints. So kind of painting and printing is morphing together a little bit in what I do. Um, I do a lot of commissioned work now. Uh, companies would maybe ask me to make 10 prints and they give them as gifts uh, to you know people that they want to be nice to. Um, and those kind of jobs keep keep me going as well and allow me, you know, time to play around with other things. One has to make a living. Um, the Irish government are very supportive of artists and in, a, in a, obviously in the way of giving grants and they give travel grants. And if you have an exhibition abroad, you can uh, often get that paid for. They also have a, on a practical level buy work from people like me, which like that they give us gifts. And if the president is going away, he will often take a piece of art with him and give it, you know, whoever he's meeting. Um, and the best thing of all for most artists in Ireland is that our Earnings from our artwork are tax free up to 50,000 euro a year. Now, that is a huge bonus for an artist. And certainly when I was starting out, that may made, made me able to make the living and do what I wanted to do and, and not having to teach, which I wouldn't have been very good at and didn't certainly want to do. Um, so I have exhibitions abroad and in Ireland and I have a studio in Dublin. Um, I. I yeah I work away all the time really. Um, I have clients that are regular and come kind of buy their maybe their wedding presents and small pieces from me. Um, I when I was making batiks a lot, I I they were very very big, but now my screen prints are getting smaller and smaller. As you know, the one you have <laughs> the size of a postage stamp, but I find that a great challenge to be able to kind of dilute the essence of what I want to do into a tiny, tiny little image. And uh, I ruin an awful lot of paper trying to get it right. It's not it's not as easy to do as it seems. Um, so the people, the piece that you have, um, 
I'm trying to, I'm working with memory and I'm looking at the landscape of Ireland and around Dublin because Dublin is quite close to the country as you know it's easy to get there um and I'm so I'm working on a lot of prints at the moment that are inspired by the landscape and the sea and the colors that you see and it's kind of a memory thing it's it's specifically the kind of flash of color you get and you go if you go by in a car or a train or a bus you know that you just get in your mind and I'm trying to put that on the paper so the one you have today or day it's called um I that's a memory of a bank of heather I saw somewhere just outside of Ireland that kind of very purpley blue that you see heather and the, the gorse behind it which is a yellow color so that's that's me in a nutshell. Um, I'm delighted to be a prize winner. It's a, it's a great thing to get the letter saying you've won a prize and especially from a, a huge entry, both size-wise and, and quality-wise. So thank you again. And thank you. Uh, I'll say goodbye. <laughs> thank you very thank much. You very much very it, yeah. it was a pleasure to receive you here. And, and, and thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. My pleasure too. Thank you. Well, well, we continue with uh, Alicia Vidaure. Uh, Alicia uh, is not here today, but she sent um, a message, a message, message for, from, for, from you. For you. For you. Well, good morning. Uh, I will read it in first person, like uh, Alicia Wright wrote. Uh, good morning. My name is Alicia, and I am the author of the artwork Like a Wave of Force and Light. I am very grateful and excited for this recognition of my work, which combines ceramics, engraving, and digital art. I want to thank the jury, the organization, and the, all the participants for making this event possible. The technique uh, I have employed is called digital intaglio, a digital art technique that uses software to create images that uh, mimic the effect of traditional engraving. I have used various digital tools to draw, cut, engrave, or erode a virtual surface, and then apply ink, uh, color, or texture to uh, the resist of raised areas. The result is an image that has a three-dimensional detail and metallic appearance. The image represents an ocean wave symbolizing the strength, beauty, and freedom of nature. The wave is composed of many lines and curves in different shades of blue, white, and gold. The lines and the curves create a sense of drift and movement in the image. The background is a gradient of dark blue with a light blue horizon line. The image has an uh, almost a metallic texture uh, that reflects light and shadows. As a, a ceramic artist, I am interested in exploring the relationship between ceramics and digital art, drawing on uh, some ceramic, uh, ceramic techniques, sorry, that also use the principle of incision or engraving on a surface. For example, the stamping technique involves pressing an object or a tool onto the clay surface to create an impression or design. This technique can also be combined with the use of inks or pigments to transfer the drawing to the piece. This technique resembles the printing process of digital intaglio, where paper is pressed onto the engraved plate. Another technique is graffito, which involves applying multiple layers of glazes or slips of different colors to the clay piece and the scratching of or engraving the surface to reveal the underlying colors. This technique creates a deep and chromatic gradation effect similar to the digital intact. My intention is to create works that blend tradition and innovation, matter and image. Touch and sight. I hope you have enjoyed my work and that I has conveyed something to you. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much and congratulations to Alicia. And um, well, Alina is not okay. able to, to be here because she's ill.
And then the, the, the next is Madoka Kiryu. Madoka, Madoka are has, you there? Yes. Please tell something to us. Madoka Kiryu? Hello. Yeah. Yes. yes. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hello. 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 Congratulations, dear. Man. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you <laughs> and to meet you too. I'm currently learning English, so so I'll I will look at my notes while I talk. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Be, be, be relaxed. We <laughs> thank you. We don't speak English very well too because we are <laughs> Spanish-speaking people, and you are Japanese-speaking uh, artist. Don't worry. <laughs> thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Madoka Kiryu. I am very happy to receive such a prestigious award. <laughs> I make it with lithographs. This work uses three aluminum plates. <laughs> By adding a color to each piece and overlapping them, it becomes a single piece of work. This work expresses the feelings I had when my friend and I watched the sea at dawn. We walked about 70 kilometers in one day to see the sea. When I arrived, I was sweaty and exhausted. The only sounds around us were the dim light of the lighthouse and the sound of waves. Our exhausted bodies felt like empty vessels, and I was able to fully absorb the dazzling morning sun, the sea breeze, and the sound of the waves. It was an important experience for me because I was able to discover a phenomenon without any constraints. Although the sea and lighthouse are not depicted in this work, I would be happy if you could feel the presence of the beautiful sea and lighthouse along with the sound of the waves. I will use this award as encouragement to be more active. And I will do my best to hold a solo exhibition in Spain someday. <laughs> Thank you very much for providing this opportunity. We hope that this exhibition will continue to be enjoyed by many people. Muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> many thanks. Many thanks to you, dear, dear Madoka, and, and many thanks for your effort in, in, in speaking in, in English. Many, many thanks. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we continue. Uh, uh, well, the next is Laura Garcia Macia. Uh, Laura. No, yeah. No hemos podido hablar antes, no sé si tienes preparado hablarnos, por favor. Perfecto. Yeah. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Tienes eh, el, el micrófono, micrófono apagado. apagado. You have the, the microphone oh. off. A ver, dinos algo. ¿Te lo uh, No. no. Uh, the, 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 the microphone is well now, but your voice the, doesn't appear, doesn't sound. I don't know if you have any um... any plug or because uh, there is no sound. Uh, do you prefer we try to continue with the following artists and you try to 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 see okay. what happen? Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, so, well, yeah. uh, well, we continue with Jericho Monk. Yes, uh, perfect. Uh, Jericho and Monk sent a, a video because they, oh. they are teaching. Okay, yeah. ah, oh, ah, okay, okay. Laura, Laura, Laura. A ver, ahora. ¿Me oís ahora? Sí, yes. perfecto. Perfect. Ah, okay. 
perfecto. ¿Hablo yo entonces? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, por favor. Ok. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for making me being part of your exhibition. I'm so honored to being with all these recognized artists and being part of your group. And thanks the jury for um, recognizing my work. I have prepared a little text for being sure that I can make myself understand because I'm not sure about my English. Okay. So I will try, I will try to read. Okay. Okay. I have always found something therapeutic in painting and my feelings. It brings me back to the present, to the reality and my real self. Those are the few minutes of the day in which I allow myself these three things that all otherwise meet get lost in the business of the day. I am coming back. I practic practically abandoned everything 20 years ago to be a single mother. Not too long ago, I found myself paint painting again after my longest break, participating in a contest and, and winning. Living is most of the time a slam of the door. It's clamorous and desperate. Living yourself also is. It's an end and it's you alive and guns you with no noses and solidify and trinum and turn you into a salt statue, a statue if you look back. Never look back. And one day you find yourself going back to moments, places, dreams, crazy ideas, and rescate you to bring you back to pencils shaking in your hands. Coming back is always uncertain, uncertain com conflicted, fearful, unsafe, and silent. Terror of not being anymore and not being able to leave the doubt unsolved. Stealthily, you approach yourself to that not even you can perce uh, perceive you. Slowly and um, barefoot, barefoot, always barefoot. And fear, tons of fear. And suddenly, someone just hangs you. With a smile, with a smile, and tells you, "Welcome, you, you, we were waiting for you," and you surprise yourself, welcoming. It is just try, trying to uh, make yourself, uh, make all of you understand that I have um, leave everything of my art twenty years ago, just for being a mother, and I. I live uh, myself, no, not just the art, my list, uh, leave everything about me. Um, Sunday, I recognize me coming back slowly without being uh, absolutely concept, con consent, con conscient. And uh, uh, this, this uh, situation, this, this honor for me, it was really important because I arrived in the right way, in the right time, for making me feel welcoming. So I'm I'm so happy to be in part of your um, uh, exposition. I will try to go. I'm sure about because my my big data is uh, studying in Santander. So someday. I will go to see her, and I'm sure that I could be able to to find you. And uh, thank you for all that it means. Just not the honor of being part of this group. My it was so important in my in my life, in my way, in my moment. So thank you. Many thanks to Many you. Thanks yeah, to you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And we are waiting for you here. So let us know when you are coming, please. Yeah, I you. promise. I promise. Thank Big you. Big hug. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Well, uh, we continue with a video that uh, Sheriko and Mank sent because they are teaching today and they were not uh, possible to be here. Uh, so we are going to to show is a five minutes video uh, with sounds. So we are going to to run it. <laughs> No, not sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Hi, Santander. Birgit de Monk speaking from Denmark. I will in the next few minutes talk about the project Small Collection Notes for the Future. It's a collection of six works made in collaboration with my colleague Vibeke Jekau. Since 2020, we have uh, in the name of Munk and Jekau, our collaborative work has resulted in several joint graphic series and exhibitions that focus on photography. We challenge the technique and the format, creating unique artworks in dialogue. Our artwork number five received the first mention in the mini print exhibition. We are really proud and happy about that and also the attention our work has received. Thanks a lot. These mini print artworks, small collection notes for the future, was developed by reusing leftover prints from our long-term project Storm and Silence notes from the West. So therefore, I will show and talk a little about this project. Storm and Silence was developed or started up in 2021 by being, walking and collecting impressions and images in a specific small area in the west of Denmark. Over, over several periods, we registered and collected material such as notes, notes and photographic recordings of nature's daily changes. By keeping the focus on this delimited area, our eyes and senses were sharpened on the small and big changes in the sea, the sand and the light. This work resulted in a lot of prints and was installed as a site-specific graphic installation in the old rescue, rescue house at the North Atlantic Lighthouse in Hanstholm, north of Denmark, in autumn 22. As you might see in these images from the installation, the prints hang loose only in the top with small nails. The papers are overlapping in a random size, creating two long compositions. During this process, we also built up our workshop Monk Print Lab in Aarhus, where we can work as much as we need. Small collection notes for the future was developed by reusing leftover prints from, from this. The works are developed in collaboration at the press in a gap, you might say, between a strategy and accidents. 
We are inspired by our intuition. These works are made like small books. When they hang like this in small strings, they open a little and you can have a small look at other colors and motives. Thanks a lot for listening. Thanks a lot for having being a part of this exhibition. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Uh, well, well. Many, many thanks from, from here to Vivek and, and, and Bridget. And we'll, let's continue. Julia, are, are you there? Please say, tell something. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, <laughs> perfect. perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, I, um, my name is Giulia Leonelli. I'm an artist printmaker uh, living in Paris where I teach printmaking at Sorbonne University. And for today's presentation, I have just prepared a text because I wanted to be sure to be in five minutes and I'm sorry there are no images but everything can be found on my website so let's go my artistic practice as a printmaker can be defined as a quest for rhythm the aim is suggesting a sense of movement by a rhythmic configuration of patterns and shapes obtained to both experimental and traditional printmaking processes. The outcome of this work will be organized in a sequence within a larger ensemble. To a series of prints, the single surface reflects the provisional unfolding of a rhythm. For this reason, while I'm carving a metal plate, I always keep in mind the possibility to create a variable sequence that suspends the solidity of a form by successive metamorphosis. As an expression for the passing of time in its perpetual renewal. I am interested in the production of works in series organized in variable editions where shapes occur on the metal plate as a flowering by the means of chemical reactions and experimental processes that allow randomness coupled with meticulous and specific interventions. A lot of choices are made during the printing process by mixing the inks and looking for the right timbers and tonalities. The use of color is a fundamental part of my creative work. I was a painter before. <laughs> the chromatic research intervened as a possibility to alterate and variate the nature of the image itself. Most of the time, I work with polychrome inking using the technique known as a la poupée, which consists of a local intervention of different colors on a single passage under the press. But this is not the only technique used in my work to produce rhythmic and vibration during the printing process. In the last few years, I've been extensively working by overprinting several plates on the same sheet of paper in order to produce a variable edition I proceed by repeating similar elements from one plate to the next that can match by overlapping, suggesting an evolution of the previous printed version. I often use square plates in order to multiply the possibilities of variation, reorienting the matrix on the press bed under several angles. Concretion one, the print that I presented for the mini print context is a 20 per 20 centimeter intaglio plate, mostly realized with the line etching technique with some dry point additions. The inking is selective 
Various shades of blue are applied locally, thanks to the a la poupée inking technique. A darker blue ink mixed with black and paint gray spread over the main part of the image, surrounded by, the light, by a lighter blue mixed with white ink and a gray tone obtained by the mixture of silver and blue ink. This print was inspired by the landscape of Cantabria that I had the chance to visit during the Nat Art Residence at the beginning of June 2023 by the cliffs and the ocean surrounding the residency house in Tagli. For this reason, I thought it could fit well with the theme and the spirit of the mini print context. The one in the title suggests that this is the first piece of a series that will be developed to introduce variations and rhythm on the same theme. So I would like to thank all the members of the jury for this award. I'm very, very honored. And I would like to thank Andrea and Gabrielle for making all of this possible and for bringing together so much people around art and around printmaking. So thank you. <laughs> thank Thanks. You. Many thanks to you, dear Julia, and, and, and congratulations again. Well, let's, let's go. Say. Are you there? Please tell something to us. We cannot see you. Hi. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. I want to share my uh screen. Okay. Screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah. perfect. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Sae. I'm uh, honored to have been given this opportunity. And I would like to thank to the jury and the exhibition staffs. And uh, now I live in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, I'm Japanese, and uh, I currently work at Tama Art University as a lecturer of paint print making. And uh, uh, okay, I work primarily with woodcut techniques, woodcut expression using many living materials. The artist receives a lot of a lot of inspiration and influence from them that develop their work. Japan has a traditional water-based woodcut printing technique used for the ukiyo-e. Uh, the main island is uh, surrounded by the sea with four seasons and humidity. Japan offers very favorable condition for the development of, of water-based woodcut painting. I think that is the same situation for Cantabria in Spain. The artists work with a soft, moist washi paper and a wood plate, reacting to their blessing. I work with both this water-based and the contemporary woodcut technique. The technique I use with cut interview is simply like dry point using a wood plate. The technique in volume applying in several coats of lacquer to the wood plate and then scratching it with a needle or engraving knife. The wood cut interview pick up the inside of the wood together with the ink and a peel of the wood sensitive ex expression. The line drawing on the grain of the wood is drawing made by the movement of my hands and the breath, the wood. 
the line expression of woodcut integrity and the soft layered expression of water based woodcut prints can express an interesting word on the screen, like a spelling of the of our poem. The inspiration of my, the motif of the work is the inner garden. There are a wall and the doorway, and also there are other other side and this side. Cat pass freely through them, and the birds carry seeds. Before long, the same plants grow inside outside, but inside the wall there is a an order that should be protected. Somehow, as it glow, it accepts gradual change. It is also a space within ourselves where details, relationship of our private everyday life are spread out in an ordinary fashion. The work is a collection of memory and image of the everyday scenery that we pass by, ordinary action and the world of natural smell and other tactile sensations. I'm exploring the proportion of where we are come from or where we are going. The expression, the expression of the ink that came out so the fiber of the woodcut that is printing on the surface of the wood cut and the dry, the washi or that is printed on the back of the washi is complex by composing them together with the delicate expression of the intaglio. I think it is possible to express the quiet, complex-like appearance of the inner garden, which encompass complex circular messages and the exchanges, something like composition. The present work is also a memo piece of some of these. This technique is the same and uh, I make small work, but also large two-dimensional work using woodcut print and uh, artist book. Large work can obtain a unique space and expression by composition, dialect expression such as internal drawing and uh, indirect expression such as woodcut print and photograph on the same screen. This is an artist book. <laughs> In the artist book, some are from the sleeves of drawing using prints and the other are made using photographs and original prints. All of which can recreate, uh, recreate memories of the scene, of the scenes. These pieces aim to evoke sensory memories by capturing everyday scene. By looking at the passing scenery of everyday life, which is familiar to everyone, I hope to offer you to feeling previous joy in this age, scared and the ephemeral substance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, it was very nice to, to see your work. And many... Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, please uh, uh, stop sharing the, the screen so we can continue with the next artist. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Christina, are you there? Please. Christina? Christina? Christina was there, but now 
I cannot find. Yes, yes, yes Cristina. Cristina. Are you there? Please. <laughs> Tell, tell something. We, we know that we pronounce very badly your names, very, very awful, but we are very sorry for this, but we cannot pronounce them very well. So, Christina, uh, please come in. Uh, you have the microphone off. Continue or turn off the microphone. You can you can find uh, the button on the um, le le left side. Uh, a place where to activate your your uh, your audio because I cannot do it. No, okay. No, okay. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cristina, and congratulations to you. Thank you very much. So I'm Cristina Norileta. You pronounce my name very well, I think. <laughs> <Thank>. <laughs> so I'm from Lviv. I graduated uh, Vilnius Art Academy, graphic department, and I have my own gallery studio uh, in Vilnius, where I create uh, and I represent uh, my art and my gallery now um, 12, 12 years old so sorry my english not so very good <laughs> so and and my lifetime favorite technique is line cut color line cut and and for this exhibition i i made uh, also line cut but uh, but also i um, um, usually experiment with line cut i'm doing with drawing with painting and um, and use uh, Line cut and on the walls also. So for me, is um, line cut is very very big inspiration, and um, because I also work uh, in art school, art uh, like an art teacher, yeah, and also book designer. So I, I am doing not line cut but also in drawing and painting. So and um, my inspiration inspiration. Nature, of course, music, people, and architecture is is, is uh, my constant source of, of of inspiration. And then I saw the theme of your exhibition, and uh, and, and I saw photos of, of your wonderful lighthouse and uh, um, with amazing view of, of the sea. And I, I immediately saw pictures in my head, and then I made uh, them without hesitation. Yeah. And uh, I was really very happy to selected to participate and even to receive special mention. And a couple of weeks uh, ago, I traveled uh, to Santander to see the exhibition and was very, really ex ex impressed and very happy. So thanks for organizers, Andrea and Gabriel. Thank you, Pachuri, and congratulations all colleagues. Thank you. <laughs> Many thanks. Many, Many thanks. thanks. It, it was a pity. No, no, don't uh, meet you there. Uh, but maybe next time. Next yeah, time. maybe next time. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, well, we are very happy. Many thanks to you all. Um, we are going to see your faces all together. Um, we are very proud. I'm very happy, and uh, it's very nice to uh, to see you around the world um, and to see you all together. Many thanks for your words. Many thanks for your explanation. I I I think that only for Bernadette it was easy, uh, but maybe not easy to understand us. So uh, everyone has a different problem. So uh, many thanks for your effort. Uh, because it's not easy for 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 us. We know that. Uh, so uh, for me, it's, uh, today. I I don't know if Eduardo would you like to say uh, anything else uh, to say goodbye to them. Well, we 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 are just a few. Yes. If if you want to to open okay. the microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, we we from... if you would like to uh, before. Yes. Uh, Okay, uh, Eduardo, before you say the last words, okay. I would like to ask the rest of the artists, Jael, uh, Laura, Maria, Judith, uh, Sushi, 
if you would like to say something, we are a small group, so we can um, share your words if you would like to. Should it also? I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's, it's, it's... No, no, no. Uh, I just wanted to, to thank you for your message and your beautiful explanations. Uh, I, I think it's been uh, very interesting uh, to know a little uh, bit more about your artworks. And uh, Laura from the jury uh, told uh, before that uh, she was amazed. I, I think this is the word. It's amazing uh, how this ten of the, the sea, the lighthouses, inspires you uh, and so many artists, so many people from different parts of the world. Uh, I don't know if uh, many of you uh, knew before the Lighthouse of Camo Mayor. Uh, Cristina has uh, visited it, so it's great. Uh, but uh, it's like uh, Cabo Mayor Lighthouse has enlightened all over the world. Um, it, make me, it makes me feel so proud, and I think you should be proud too. Thank you. Many, many thanks. Many thanks to you, and many thanks to the Port Authority of Santander for, for, for all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we have other artists from the exhibition, as Sanae Shamamoto, as Shael Saranga. Uh, as Judy Burke, uh, Laura Gonzalez, Sanne Hooper. So, um, well, uh, if you would like to say anything, uh, you are welcome. Um, if not, we are very, very happy uh, you are here sharing this wonderful meeting. We are very, very, um, very proud and, and very moved, really. So, uh, Janet, would you like to say anything? I just want to say congratulations on the wonderful exhibit and congratulations to all the prize winners. I was able to, to visit the exhibit uh, coming from the United States, and I'd like to say que uh, quiero hablar español. <laughs> y es un problema que todos no puedo presentar en su lengua uh, de la madre, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Muchas gracias a uh, todo el mundo y especialmente a uh, Andrea e Juan. Many thanks. Many thanks, dear Janet. Uh, Muchas gracias. Uh, imagine if uh, if all the artists could speak in their own languages, it would be uh, very difficult to understand each other because <laughs> we have here many different languages. Cierto. So, yes, for this reason, we are very happy because it's really um, artists from around the world. So um, we are, um, we feel uh, honored uh, to have you here, really. Many, many thanks. Well, muchas gracias a todos. Okay. Um, okay. You are. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much for uh, everything, for your amazing words, for 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 everything. Yeah, for VDR and let's continue. See you next year. Take bye care bye. of yourself and bye bye. Thank, thank you. you very much. Bye.